Hey guys, Popular Boat here, and today we're playing some more Hearts of Iron 4 in our Steel Wall campaign that feels like it's hit a bit of a steel wall itself. Germany does have quite a big build up on our borders now. They're gonna, not going to be so impressed with us while we're training, um, while we are building a justification against them. They don't like us, they like us slightly less. But they don't want to go to war with us, so we'll just go to war with them instead. Uh, let's swap a couple more factories over to military production. We need a few more tanks, we need a few more guns. Commanders are not confident at all that we can hold on to this. There we go. Now Germany is declared on us. We could join the Allies, but I think we'll. Oh, we're already losing. This division can pierce one of one of enemy divisions. They can pierce us as well. Yeah, because they've got. Because Germany is actually putting anti-tank guns into their stuff, they can pierce us very easily. That's okay. We'll just add more tanks to our divisions. Um, I don't think we'll join their faction, but we will offer military access. We may even offer France military access as well. But they are, they are having to hold the line. They are asking for military access. South Africa, sure. We won't give it to France for now. We're actually holding this line better than I thought we would so far. Drop speed back. We can even push back against Germany. But they can pierce our divisions. Holy fuck. Oh no, that's fine. Got concerned for a moment. I thought these numbers were way out of whack. Yeah, we are going to have to add more armor. It's going to cost us another 800. Perhaps making them all tank divisions was going to be a bad choice. That's alright, we will know. And we will have to work with that. I'm pretty confident we can probably push Germany back a bit. Let's drop down to speed 2 for a little while. Whoa. Why is that so low? Our combat width is quite big though. Which is going to be a hindrance for us. 26 is a lot. Okay, let's have a look at this. Nighttime. Tactics combat width. They're attacking into forts, we have air superiority, they're attacking from multiple directions, we've got a decryption advantage and air support. <clears throat> we've got a piercing of 40. If we add another tank destroyer, that puts our armor yeah, alright, what do we have to do to get our armor in a good spot? Still only 30. Yeah, they've got a hell of a lot of piercing.
Alright, so going Steel Wall does not work against Advanced AI, or the Expert AI mod. Or we're just going to need a lot more steel <laughs> for our wall. Uh, let's grab a little bit more Chromium. Divisions all getting caught like that. We are able to push Germany back, which I'm quite surprised by. with no mission. <clears throat> France is holding out a lot better than you would expect. Well, certainly better than I would expect. Let's go on to speed 3. I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time watching combat taking place. <clears throat> we are able to fight them off, which I'm quite impressed by. I think we changed these guys back to just being infantry. And that way they're not getting penalties for having their armor penetrated, and then our actual tank ones we will make heavier and remove some infantry from. Very tricky. Very, very tricky. Because of how the game averages this stuff out, we'd need to go like. We need to go something like this to be able to have a decent division that the Germans can't penetrate. Okay, we need to put more artillery, or well, more tanks into this though, and reduce that width. That's a bit... come on. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. 30 for now. Let's increase armor by a bit. We've got some spare tanks. That'll be fine. Let's get regular infantry training again though. effort cool um, let's do more of our standard ones construction is mainly going on repairs oh no it's still we're still converting factories that's good
I'm still surprised we can actually push Germany back. France is getting pushed back quite firmly now. They really do not need people on our border. Okay, we've got better recon. Uh, it's 40... September of 40. We could start on the better guns. Ground support from bombers could be handy. Plus 10%. Encryption would be a better advantage, I think. Probably does help we've got Britain here as well. <clears throat> Night assault tactics sound good. Looks like Germany's probably burning through a lot of equipment now. Seeing a lot of like half strength divisions. And they do have a hell of a lot of divisions. Alright, we need more steel now. Oh, not that much. Bit more there, bit more chromium. We need to keep on top of our tank production. We don't need people wasting their time there. Our little advance got pushed back pretty quickly. I think Germany's holding on just through sheer volume of pl uh, volume of numbers at the moment. Um, all right, we've got three factories again. I think we put some towards planes. <clears throat> We're short only 46 tank destroyers, which is fantastic. Let's see if we can push up a little. I want to try and hold these main defensible features, such as this river, and then try and push up a little bit on this end just to get a slight advantage up here. Freeze up our forts for getting some repairs. Cool, Excavation 3 will give us a bit more steel. Uh, radar, meh, guns. Okay, we're looking pretty solid. I think we might. Let's get current era fighters. If we can make Germany have, if we can keep making Germany reassign their lines or like pushing people up and down, that could be a good little way. <clears throat> a little way of making small gains. At the moment, Germany's just struggling with equipment production. That's our pretty big advantage.
because they're running out of equipment, they can't pierce our stuff as easily. So they're shooting themselves in the foot as they go. Let's get bonus to air support. What we can do actually, let's pause and improve our variant. Oh, actually no, we're... No, let's save our XP for when we get the next tier of tanks. And then we'll make an extra strong variant. Bulgaria has joined the Axis. That's a bit concerning. pretty solidly. Germany having these problems with their equipment, not being able to produce as much as they're burning, probably is the reason why the AI don't build these fancy advanced divisions at the moment. <clears throat> There's not much point if the AI they can't actually keep up with production on everything. Alright, it's still 40, but we've got all the tech that we want, basically. Actually, let's, let's start on some atomic race. No, no, that's a foolish idea. 400 days is ages. I was going to grab it because of the bonus to research time, but I think we should do the focus before we start grabbing that. Um, let's grab heavy SPGs, actually. <clears throat> this little tug of, tug of war here is a bit amusing. Okay, free factories. Let's get... Let's just throw them against... Probably just artillery for now. Spread our lines down a bit. No, that push is not going to happen. Alright, let's have a look. Germany can still pierce some of our tanks. We're into the positive again with production of them, so that's great. Tree divisions around a little bit. I want to just keep wearing down the German equipment, really.
Doctor and Effort 2, good stuff. Let's get secret weapons, that should give us a discount to the nuclear research. <clears throat> Okay, Germany is struggling to pierce our divisions reliably now. Um, might as well just grab a Prince of Terror for the sake of it. France has pushed Germany back. Equipment's going to be a massive struggle for them now. Yet they're still producing divisions. <laughs> and yet we still can't push them back. Oh, well, we can a little bit. Decryption advantage, they can attack us from multiple directions. I'm pretty sure we can do this. They are is a bit more of a challenge with how they're refocusing their equipment, but they've got so many divisions that they can't actually keep them supplied. So we have a big advantage. Um, it's almost 41, let's get the next level of heavy tanks. France wants military access. Meh. Deal with your own front, France. Um, okay, we're pushing them back a little bit. start on 41 industry levels. <clears throat> Push this line forward a little. Yeah, Germany's fucking its supply over. Way too many divisions. Uh, might as well get 41 equipment. Improved artillery upgrade 2. I wasn't expecting this to be still this quite this easy. I suppose our forts helped a lot, but not hugely. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't have thought it would be that huge. Like, Germany still hasn't pushed into France at all. France has managed to hold on very well. But I suppose Germany would be pushing around the back here rather than... Um, but, yeah, I don't know. 
this doesn't seem like quite the solution. <clears throat> Germany looks like they've stopped attacking for the moment though. Probably to let their resources recover a bit. They do have a lot of factories. Tank division. Oh, the tank division's not in this combat at the moment. Hmm. Anyway, time for me to put a break in. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. Like, subscribe, leave some comments, and I will see you in the next episode.